see if we can see if we can rack a big snook this morning. So I'm gonna switch it up. I've been fishing 45 minutes with lures, no hits. Let's switch to some live shrimp. Look at all those sheep. Bunch of them coming by. Now the sheep that are coming out to play. Bunches of them down there. It's changing my GoPro battery on one of my cameras and my line took off. We finally got us a little jack. I've been fishing three hours this morning. It is so super slow, but I'm seeing I'm seeing huge redfish all over the place. They are just not chewing. Might have to slip over here at night or something. I don't know, but this guy hit at the most inopportune time. Right here. I was changing this GoPro battery, so I'm going to let this guy just sit in the water. There we go. Oh, yeah, he swallowed it. He swallowed it, but you know what? I need some cut bait for these redfish because they are not interested in shrimp. We're going to take a hunk of this jack right here. See if we can get a redfish to hit some cut bait. I cannot get these guys interested in what I'm throwing over there. They don't want to have anything to do with the shrimp. So maybe we can get them on a hunk of jack here. Fresh piece of cut bait there. Holy smokes, there's a big one right here in front of me by this dock. See if he wants a piece of fresh cut bait. Big snook right here. Big snook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Snook is turning towards my cut bait. Come on, dude. Find it. He's just running with a mullet. Big old snook. Look at that dude. Wow. Throw my cut bait over here and just let it sit. And we'll just hope one of those big red fish finds it. Oh, there's a red right there. He's coming back to his little piling. Big red right there. Yeah, he's staging up right on the piling again. Big red right there. Snook right there. Dude, I'm just going to park it right here. All right, guys, I cut up, cut up some little pieces of that jack. I'm going to throw them out there, see if we can chum up these redfish a little bit. 10 o'clock. I've been on the water two and a half hours. I got one little jack. I'm seeing big redfish all over the place. Big snook. Just can't get them to hit. I was throwing live shrimp for the longest time. Well, now, I'm just sitting here snacking. I'm going to sit in here taking a break now. I chummed up with a bunch of cut bait over there. I got a cut bait that's just soaking. I keep seeing big red fish cruising through here and also decent sized snook. See if we can't get one to cruise by and pick up the bait. I'll let you know when it happens. I saw a giant fish under this dock. I've been seeing giants all morning. The cool thing is he was headed towards my shrimp, so maybe he'll pick it up. Oh, fish on. Fish, oh, dang it, I lost him. Dang it, I lost him. I had one. Thought I was freaking hung on a piling back there. I was easing up here. I saw two big snook come out of there, and I pulled back. I thought I was hung on a piling. It was a freaking fish. Darn it. It's a snook. Wait all that time to get a hit. I mean, I was back there fishing for 45 minutes. No hit. I come easing up here just to take a peek and see what's going on around the dock. Two big snook come cruising by here. And then I look at my line. I see my line going back. I ease back. Freaking lost him. Dang it. What a hodgepodge that was. What a freaking hodgepodge. Dude, really? Ugh. This free line and shrimp down there. This free line and that shrimp. And he followed it up. Oh, that's a good one. We got some good sheep's head. They are not around the pilings. 
They're just cruising around in big schools. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper, sheeper. This is a good one here. Yeah, buddy. Set the hook on you good too, dude. He, he engulfed that shrimp. He just sucked that whole thing down. Get on in this boat. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Wow. Big old keeper sheeper. Sheeper sheeper got the keeper. Nice. This is crazy. I've been out here four and a half hours. I've caught one jack. I've been seeing redfish all morning, snook all morning, sheep's head all morning. Ah, finally got me a keeper sheeper and I caught one little bitty dinky jack and I lost a snook. Wow, that felt good. All right, so the, these sheep's head, they're cruising around in a big school. There's like 20 of them. And that's the third hit that I've had. They'll definitely hit the shrimp, just free falling it right in front of them. If they see it, they'll hit it. <laughs> All right, maybe we got it figured out. Let's see. There we go, baby. Yep, they're starting to feed, guys. They are starting to feed. Definitely, it's been a long morning. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Oh, you got another one. Another keeper sheeper. Big old fat sheep's head. These fish will drive you crazy. I've been seeing fish all morning. Finally, they're starting to bite. We have got sheep's head in the feeding mood. Starting to congregate underneath the dock. They're getting around the pilings. All of a sudden, they decide it's time to eat. We might be getting it. Yeah, we're getting a bite. There he is there. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Dang it, man. About 10 of them right here around this piling. Shrimp is falling right down there in the zone. Come on, get it, cheaper. Oh, he's got it. He's got, oh, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, there we go. Hooked up again. Number three. I don't think this guy's gonna keep. He's a little sheep. He's a little sheep. He might keep. He might keep. Sheep's head bite is on. Definitely an afternoon bite. Another keeper sheeper. You wouldn't know it by this video, but I've been out here six and a half hours, three keeper sheep's head and one little jack. And I've had a few hits that I missed. A couple of them were good fish, but anyway, guys, I should have a lot more fish. But the problem is if they're not biting, they're just not biting, right? There's definitely fish here. There's fish all over the place here, but I got a few more shrimp and a few more hours, so let's stick with it. That's a hit, that's a hit. There we go, there we go, that's a good, oh, oh man, big snook, big snook. What do we got? Big red fish. Finally, dude, got one of those big reds to hit. Oh, he broke me off. He freaking broke me off. Ah, trying to get him out away from the dock. Dang it. Oh, he didn't break me off. He just pulled the hook. Dang it. That was the first cast after I said it was six and a half hours. Oh my God. Big old redfish. Dang it. The hook pulls. Trying to get him out from the dock. Oh my God. I thought it was a big snook. Whoa, baby. Maybe they're going to start bite. It's an afternoon bite. Duh. Fished all morning. Nothing. Here it is like 2.30 and now I'm getting hits. Wow. Oh my God, there is a Megalodon freaking snook. That dude, there's two of them. Oh crap. There are two giant snook right here, guys. Two huge ones. They are too smart. They are just too smart. As soon as that shrimp hit the water, they started moving. I'm gonna stand up, see if you can see them. Oh, he's right in front of the kayak. He's right there. Big old wide back snook. Big why oh my god, that's a 20 pounder. All right, fellas. I got 20 pounds snook up here. There's two or three of them cruising around these docks. They're not interested in the shrimp, so I'm gonna put on a Yozuri and see if I can get a reaction strike. Just buzz that thing by one of them. See if we can get him to chase it. So that's the plan. We're gonna do that with my PC Fena Alios 300 and my seven foot six long musky rod. Yeah, set up for snook fishing. I really think I might have the right idea here, trying to get a reaction strike. You got lethargic fish that 
you throw a shrimp and bring a shrimp by them and they just turn their nose you buzz something by them flashy moving really fast dude that's the ticket that's going to be the ticket right there yeah, it's been a long time since they had a delicious green back. We got 30 pound test with 40, 30 pound test braid with 40 pound test leader. Where did you go, big snook? Where did you go? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. I told you you couldn't resist a Yozuri. I told you you couldn't resist a Yozuri. Yep, that's not the big one though. That's not the big one. That's the little guy. Heck yeah. That's not the big one, guys. There's a 20 pounder up there somewhere. But, it's that reaction strike. They're not messing with the shrimp. Buzz that Yozuri bomb, baby. They're just like, ooh, I have not seen me a green back shiner in a long time. Come on in, give me some of that. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Nice. Nice. Alright, little guy. You have just made my day. That was a good call on my part. Get that guy on about the third cast on the Ozuri. Nice. Hey, little guy. Thanks. See ya! Woohoo! Woo! Middle of the afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock. Sun is straight up. Ooh, the old Snooky. He was laying in one of those little potholes over there out in the open. Could not resist. Could not resist it, I'm telling you. If I can see some of those big ones, we might get one. We do. We got a little Snooky Snooky. We got a little Snookster. Holding off from under the dock. There we go. Cute little guy. Alright, buddy. Thanks for the catch. See you.